Okay, we are live. Welcome to Manchester United versus Chelsea. It's a live watching along here on the channel. It's going to be an interesting match tonight, guys. Kind of looking forward to it a little bit. Feeling there's going to be goals, feeling there's going to be spills, thrills, twists, excitements. Who knows what's going to happen over the course of the next 90 minutes or so in the match. I'm looking forward to it, guys. I hope you guys are too. I hope that we're going to have a Manchester United win uh, tonight. But who knows? Who knows? Um... We can't bank on anything at this current moment in time. Let me quickly load up the old stream. And we are ready to go. I've got Stephanie in the comments. Uh, off to the pub. Three points United, says Steph. Of course, guys, get your thoughts in on tonight's poll. Get voting on that. Win a lot, win a draw, a loss. Let me know what you guys think the score is going to be uh, tonight. And of course, as well as that, guys, the team news is on the right-hand side to me. We got some big news tonight. Marcus Rashford does look to be dropped. Which is a big one. It could be a big one. We actually have Ten Hag's thoughts on it. Um, right now he's saying that two big games in three days is making his decision. I don't know. I, I, it's a big one. It's a big call to make. Because Rashford in big games is one of the only players I can really turn to and say, yeah, he's going to get us a goal. Or, you know, he could get us a goal. Um, whether or not he does or not, you know, that's another issue altogether. But certainly... It is a big call from Eric Ten Hag. We've got the team on the right-hand side of me. It's going to be Onana. It'll probably be wan at left... Sorry, right-back. It might be left-back. We've got uh, Varane. We've got Harry Maguire. We've got Dallo, a midfield three. Casemiro, Bruno Fernandes, Ka and Kobe Mainu. And we've got a forward line tonight of Anthony, Garnacho and Hoyland. Now, for a run of matches right before Christmas and into the new year, Anthony and Garnacho average between them one pass per game to our striker. So I want to see some passes coming in. I want to see some balls coming in uh, from those wide players. And I want to see Hoyland get a little bit of service tonight. I don't think we can expect a lot of service from him. We never do. But hopefully we can get him something. Um, Mount is on the bench tonight as well. That's a big call from Eric Ten Hag. Scored in the last match. He'll probably fancy a run out against his former team uh, tonight as well. And certainly, look, there's a lot of sub uh, subplots, subtexts, and it's going to be a very interesting match, guys. Get your thoughts in down below. Get footing on tonight's poll. Let me know your thoughts. Is it going to be a win, a draw, or a loss? Let me know on the poll down below. Um, 75% at the minute going for a win, but we do only have, what, what's that, eight votes. So six out of eight are going with the win. I've got Lucky Singh down below. Good to see Lucky in the comments. He's saying Wambasaka um, will close down Mudrick and Palmer. He's going to have to close one of them down. For sure, man. Absolutely. No doubt about it. We're going to have to close those wide areas down for Chelsea and watch out for the counter-attacks. And that's how Chelsea can hurt us. It's how we've been hurt all season. But look, we, we beat these guys last time. Hopefully we can uh, beat them again. And I guess we're going to find out how we're going to do very, very soon, guys. I'm looking forward to tonight's match. Whether or not I'm going to have enjoyed the match by the end of it, it might be a different matter altogether. Um, like he says, Casemiro, Kobe, Mounty and Bruno um, will little amount of passes to attack. Yeah, well, they'll try to move the ball forward quickly, I think. Um, they've kind of done that all season, man, but I'm not too sure. Well, we're, we're going to find out. Um <clears throat> with um, tonight's match about to kick off in about 10 minutes time so make sure that you guys are dropping a like if you haven't already get your predictions in down below as well um, let me quickly do that I think that should be good there we go we are good to go guys I'm looking forward to tonight's match anyway I hope you guys are too I think it'll be an interesting match Regardless, I think it'll be an interesting <laughs> uh, game, and I do expect goals in tonight's match. I would be surprised if we don't get goals tonight, guys, to be honest. But who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Anything can happen. Anything will happen. It is Manchester United. It is Chelsea. Two unpredictable teams. Two teams hard to predict what kind of form you're going to get from them. So let's just find out in the next hour or two tonight. Uh, about 10 minutes from kickoff. And I'll get some of the online views as well from you guys. Um, let me quickly pop this up. Got nine votes in tonight's poll. 78% going with a win. I hope majority is correct. Sorry if you guys heard anything there. Just <laughs> hit my mic arm there a little bit. Uh, Lucky wants to see uh, Anthony getting some crosses into the box. Yeah. I, I want to see some service to Hoyland, man. I really do. Because we don't get that service. Um... 
you know, we want we want to see that service. We want to see some crosses into the box for Hoyland and some passes. That's what we need. Uh, Wambasaka has been playing crosses in from the right um, in the warm up, suggesting he will start it right back tonight. That's going to be something to watch out for. So it could be Diego Dello at left back, but we'll have to wait until the match kicks off to really find out. Kickoff getting soon. Uh, Garnacho has started now 30 games in a row, 30 consecutive competition. Um, sorry, 30 consecutive starts. It's a lot of, a lot of football uh, for such a, a, a young player, and I hope that he's going to be able to manage that all right, to be honest. But who knows, guys, who knows? Anyway, let's get the points on the board. Let's get a big win tonight, and let's hopefully find ourselves a little bit closer to Spurs, a little bit closer to Aston Villa. That has to be priority. That needs to be priority um, by the end of this match. If we're going to do anything, guys, for the rest of the season, we're going to have to win the next two matches. We're going to have to beat Liverpool at the weekend. We're going to have to beat Chelsea at Stamford Bridge, and that is a big ask for this team that was dominated uh, by Brentford last week. Can't do the same tonight. H cannot do the same tonight. Um... Anyway, lucky he's done there. He's looking at two, 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 three. I guess that probably is going to be kind of like the build-up structure as well. It's always kind of like that. It's always like a two-one at times. It depends. It does depend. Like um, I've got ten votes on tonight's poll as well, guys. Eighty percent are sticking with the win. Um, but guys, let me know your thoughts. Get some score predictions in down below. Anyway, lucky says um, United. The mentality is worrying a little bit. Yeah, it is. It is. Mentality does worry me, Lucky. Absolutely, man. You know, I'm concerned about mentality, about the attitude. What United do we get? What Chelsea do we get tonight? Who knows what's going to happen anyway? It's going to be an interesting one for sure, man. Really is. Really, really is. Um, Let me see. Guys, we have 11 likes as well in the stream. Really good work there. Thanks very much for that one. Much appreciated, guys. Um, Let's hope we get a good performance here match gonna kick off in about seven or eight minutes so getting ready for kickoff here uh, at Stamford Bridge and we should be going pretty soon as well um hopefully it's gonna be a good uh result for United tonight I mean I will check the result performances I, I I know they're not gonna happen I know performances have been bad all season so if we suddenly pull out a fantastic performance tonight then I'd be very surprised at that but who knows I live with an open mind I'm going to be open minded to these things anyway I'm going with a 3-2 win tonight for United I think it's going to be gold and I think we're going to score more than Chelsea that's what I think is going to happen it might be a case of one team outscoring the other but we'll see what we can do we'll see, we'll see what happens in tonight's match it'll be an interesting one anyway irregardless guys really will be um, good evening to Chat Sport Pickups, buddy. Thanks for joining in with us uh, tonight as well. How are we feeling for tonight's match? Nervous, excited, not really bothered. I know a lot of people out there kind of losing interest in this season as well, like from people I've been talking to both online and just like within my own friendship groups and even family. You know, a lot of people are just like, they can't wait for the season to be over at this point, but. I don't know. It, it, it'll take another step to being over regardless win, loss or draw tonight. Um, let's just hope it's a win. Let's just hope we can cap tonight off with three points at Sanford Bridge. Chelsea haven't beaten us since 2017. Let's hope we can say that way. For another year at least, anyway. Um, I don't know. I don't know, guys. It, it's so hard to predict because on one hand, you have Chelsea, a very inconsistent team in their own right. You're capable of some very, very poor results, like they were at the weekend against Burnley. What was it? 2-2, two, two, despite being a man up and leading twice in that match. But at the same time, Chelsea also caused a lot of trouble to City when they played. They also caused a lot of trouble um, to some of the other teams that they have played. Um, so it's an interesting one. They do score goals. They do ship goals. So do we. Uh, Chasport said will be an, a, an open game. Yeah, for sure, man. It's going to be an open one. Um, I'm not really much of a betting man, but if I was... To put a bet on this, I would say go for gold, go for a lot of opportunities um, for, for both teams. <laughs> Maybe one of those shot and target ones or something. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. I, feel like, I feel like that's very probable. Anyway, guys, we're five minutes from kickoff. Lucky Sing Sing could be 3-2. Uh, could be. It could be 5-4. It could be 5-5. Five, five. Who knows what's going to happen in tonight's match. It's going to be an interesting one. Let's just hope it's a good one in terms of the United result. Guys, Thank you very much so far for the votes on the poll. 67% uh, have went with a win. 
17 for the draw and 17 for the loss. Not quite sure how those numbers add up because that makes 101% in my head. Um, so I don't know why we're getting that at YouTube, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, Lucky says 2-2. Two, two. It will be defense on either side. It's very much going to be attack against attack tonight. It's not. It, it's not. It's not attack versus defense. It's attack versus attack, and it might just come down to who scores more goals in the night. That could literally be what decides this match. Anyway, it will be an interesting one. Anyway, it will be a good one to watch. Hopefully, and hopefully we're going to pick ourselves up an invaluable three points. An invaluable three points, I say. But who knows? Who knows? It was likened the other day by a friend of mine to. I'm sure I'm sure everybody's old enough to remember the end of the Louis van Gaal era where you know we were kind of mathematically possible to finish Champions League um and it took until the last day of the season for it to be impossible we still had the FA Cup run and it wasn't enough to save him is Ten Hag going to find himself in the same position who knows but we're heading to we're heading into it anyway guys it's going to be a good match I'm sure of it Bruno Fernandes, our captain tonight, of course. I think Conor Gallagher, Chelsea captain. Lucky is on there. Let's have little possession and be strong. Lucky, honestly, man, we're better with less of the ball. Um, and, and I mean that literally, like, we're better as a transitional team than what we are playing the style of football we are at the minute. But we've been playing this horrendous style of football all season i can't see us changing now guys drop a like on the stream if you can uh, it does help to push it out a little bit so that would be appreciated i think i've got tw uh, 12 likes as well thanks very much for that one guys um teams heading out onto the pitch united on 48 points at the start of tonight's affair chelsea on 40 points it's been a pretty rotten season for both teams let's not get ourselves here it's a far cry from 15 years ago when it was united versus chelsea every season for the Premier League. Now it's just mid-table <laughs> teams. That's what we're dealing with here. Anyway, I'm quickly going to load up the old time card. Um, just give me one second there, guys. Let me just see. There we are. All good to go. United playing in the red tonight. We will not be wearing that green and white stripes kit again this season. Thankfully, I'm not a fan of it. Never really was, but... Getting ready for kickoff at the bridge. Chelsea team is Petrovic, it's Gusto, it's De Sassi, it's Badia Shiel, it's uh, Cucurella, it's midfield two Caicedo and Fernandez, Cole Palmer, Connor Gallagher, Michaela Mudrick, and of course Nicholas Jackson up front for Chelsea. I got Bart down below. You can watch your cameo on the agenda as I fell asleep. No, it's all good, buddy. I'm sure I'll be on it some other time as well. Uh, don't worry about that. Uh, Lucky wants to be patient with Eric Ten Hag. I guess we're just going to have to find out what happens, but uh, lucky because it will be an interesting, an interesting game tonight. Both teams poor defensively. Both teams concede a lot of goals. Both teams score goals and concede a lot of shots. It feels like one of these matches. I say they're going to be like a four-four draw or or one of those shock nil nils like Brentford Brighton last night. Anyway, teams for United. It's on the right hand side of me. It's Unana, it's Dallow, it's Varane, Maguire, Juan Bissaka, Casemiro, Mainu, Anthony, Fernandez, Garnacho, and Hoyland. It's a bench of Heaton and Evans, Kambuala, Sofian Amrabad, Mason Mount, Christian Eriksen, and Matt Diallo, Scott McTominay, and Marcus Rashford. Rashford, of course, on the bench, the big call of the evening. How do we feel about that one, guys? Not too sure how I feel about that, to be honest. Um... He is one of the only players who give us goals and big matches, but his performance level hasn't been great. But neither is Garnaccio's in recent weeks. Mount on the bench, yeah, I understand that one. A little bit surprised to see Casemiro come back in for McTominay. McTominay scored twice against Chelsea in the first match this season. But it is what it is. This could be the FA Cup final if United beat Coventry and Chelsea beat City, which I'm kind of doubtful. It might be a Coventry City FA Cup Um Bart is on their patience is key, but um, Ineos will have some in store for United as they cannot satisfy every single fan. No, they can't. Uh, patience is also key for the signings. Look at Klopp, and now he gives his player up to six months to bet in. Man, the it. What dropped Ten Hag? What made Ten Hag drop Rashford? Tactics or fan pressure? Apparently it's fitness levels, but I don't know. I don't know.
Anyway, guys, we're getting ready for this one. 15 votes in the poll, 67% for the win, 13 for the draw, and 20 for a loss. Just about time to get things kicked off at the bridge. Matata, uh, so am I Rashford in when the fan base don't want him on the bench? I'm not saying Rashford in. I'm just looking at it from the point of view that Rashford tends to score in these big matches. I think he's got 40 goals or something against the top six, and most of them coming against Chelsea's. But I get it. It's probably a tactical reason as well, because Ma uh, Malo Gusto coming back in, you want energy to deal with him. I assume that's going to be um, Garnacho's job to help contain him tonight, but it is what it is. Um, what have I got? 16 votes, we are underway um, at the bridge, and let's just hope that Manchester United can find themselves a win tonight. Uh, let me quickly turn off OBS and go back onto the live chat here on my laptop, so I'm not watching on my phone screen too much. There we go. All good. Anthony going away down this right-hand side and initially driving towards Cucurella. He's got one sack in the box. It's a good cutback. Might drop to Anthony who gets the shot off and it's blocked. Pretty pretty fast start there from United and from Anthony in particular. Maguire with the header down. Part is under. Rashi been rested for the big game on Sunday. Garnacho might get pulled off. He might do. Varane there with the block. Guys, it's been a pretty quick start here. <laughs> Can't lie. Uh, Cole Palmer with touches in the box there. And Anthony, of course, getting the shot off. It was blocked uh, after maybe about half a yard of travelling. But exciting enough start. Casemiro has got it. Uh, Garnacho knocks it down. He's got space to run into Garnacho. He's got Hoyland on the inside. Garnacho might win a corner here. Petrovic quickly across, just about manages to stop it there, going out for a corner kick. Um, let me quickly do this. And do the big ups, guys, on those likes. Much appreciated. LT keepers got it. Buddy a shield. Chelsea have got the ball again here, guys. Just trying to settle down into a little bit of possession. It is one Masaka at right back as well. I feel like it's just a lot more comfortable there. To be honest. Anthony with the foil on Cucurella, and it's going to be a free kick uh, to Chelsea. Ebert said, uh, ever had ha Hagelslad of Dutch breakfast that involves a thin layer of sprinkles and a fresh bread or toasted? Mm. No, I actually haven't, buddy. I haven't. Sounds nice, so I might have, might have to um, check it out. Do this. I don't know why my phone's going crazy. My friends are texting me so much. Oh, I'll put that there. There we go, guys. Good to go. Uh, Bourne said, who cares about Rashford? Even Rio is tired of defending him. I don't know that good, man. It is. It, sometimes it's pretty hard to defend um, the form of some of the players. Like, it, 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 it can be difficult, like. But it's one of those, like... Um, Cole Palmer there with a the touch. Copy Mindu plays it back behind Carnacho. Into Fernandez. Chelsea got an overload here. Gotta watch out for this here. Cole Palmer on the inside. No sign of Connor Gallagher. It's 1 0 Chelsea. <clears throat> it's a sloppy goal to give away, guys. And it's 1 0 to Chelsea. He got a replay on that. It looked like it came from a, a, a loose pass from Kobe Manu in behind um, in, in behind Garnacho. United never really recovered, didn't get the ball clear. Diogo Dallo nowhere really to be seen at left back. Yeah, there's, there's just no fullback there. I don't know where Dallo is. A long, long way off the ball. And we can't recover by the time the ball comes in. It's another cutback goal. I mean, I can't say I'm surprised. 
I cannot say I'm surprised because we've considered about 20 of these cutback goals this season and it's 1-0 Chelsea. Onana probably should do better there. Yeah, through, through Casemiro's legs. He's probably unsighted, but... Not a good start, guys. Chat sports not happy. It's it's not been great. The hell saves those. So fresh is down there. Good to see him, man. Uh, United always look open to attack. Yeah, man, we just look up to attack all the time. This is like the millionth cutback goal we've considered this season, honestly, buddy. Um, and now Chelsea are one 0 up. Is that updated? Yeah, it has. Just checking. The uh, overlay had uploaded. wan has got this one. Chelsea have got the lead here within five minutes of the start for Bridge. It's not good, man. Last time Chelsea got a goal up on us in five nil. Sorry, uh, within five minutes, I think we lost that match 4 nil. I think Morata scored that one. We, had, we got battered that day. Uh, Hoyland's got this one. Guys, pick up some of those 15 likes. Much appreciated. Garnaccio out here on the left. Stalo probably caught out of position for that goal, to be honest. Just never got back in. It meant Varane had to go across. And we just never looked set to deal with the cutback. And it is, it once again, it's the same cutback goal that we've considered so many times. Uh, Daniel Sander, good start. You know, <laughs> man, we'll not even talk about it. Like, I, I, it's just another cutback. We've seen it so many times. Going to drop to Bruno here. Bruno with a shot blocked by Cucurella. I don't know, guys. Came from Alagusto as well. It's just the same goal over and over again, guys. Cut back after cut back. Point still stands. Um, Onana probably should do better there. It's another cutback. Same problem, different depth. It's not been great so far. Uh, Bart, Chelsea giving United the Blues. I mean, well and truly, man. Good foot in there by Dallo anyway. Uh, Garnacho, to Dallo. Dallo's got it. Crosses. It's going to be cleared and it's going to go out for a goal kick. Uh, so Fresh need to look at some, finding some proper midfielders to build a squad around. Yeah, we do. We do no no full back no left backs hurt hurt it there. I don't know what's happened uh, with Dalloway's positioning just all over the show there. Never got back in. Onana probably should do better as well. It kind of goes underneath him, but again, it's just another cutback goal. I don't know how many cutbacks we've considered this season. Anthony stands up. Kukurella goes for the shot, and it's going to be saved by Petrovic. Decent enough placement there from Anthony. Just didn't have the power to go past the goalkeeper. And it was dropping down as well, so it was. Desassi's driving forward. Just shrugs off, I think, Garnaccio off the ball. Bart, uh, Chelsea really blow hot or cold. They'll give City a real game. Yeah, they probably will, man. Mikhailo Mudrick with a shot, and that's wide. It's going to be a corner kick. Been all Chelsea so far here in the first eight minutes, guys. Chelsea just find these 1v1s in the white areas. Chelsea corner kick. Uh, Midrick to take this one is going to go into the box. Um, where's it from? Post sword to Sassi. It's away by Casemiro. Garnacho has got it under control. He's going to run with it and win a throw in. Uh, Daniel Sander, this is a battle of the biggest banter teams in the league. Both are absolutely rubbish. It's, it's kind of hard to argue that sometimes as well, mate. Like, 
I don't know. I, I know so many United fans, so many of us are thinking the same. They just can't wait for this season to be over. Maybe enjoy the European Championship and, and start thinking about next season. Uh, Bart said uh, Chelsea will do really well if Poch is allowed to will the axe and shape the squad like um, he wants to. It took him two seasons to get Spurs in the top four. Yeah. It's one of those, it's like, if Chelsea won the FA Cup, you could see him being given more time by Todd Bowley, but I also think it's very likely that they sack him if if they end up with the bottom half of the table finish and don't win the FA Cup. To be honest, because I I don't think they've got the patience at Chelsea, you know, to to go with the longer term vision. They spend a lot of money. They want instant success. Willing the axe is always difficult as well because these players are on massive contracts and it's going to be hard to move them on. Casemiro sweeps this out to Anthony. Anthony's up against Cucurella here. Touches it in towards Hoyland. Gets it out of his feet. Gets it to Garnaccio with a shot. That's going to be a block. And to Fernandez to take it away. Decent bit of play there by United. Uh, Chasport said Chelsea are creating a lot. Yeah, they are. They need a finisher. I mean, yeah, Nicholas Jackson's just not it, I don't think. Guys, hit a like on the video if you can as well. Uh, just helps push it out a little bit more. Casemiro's won that header. Manu goes up for it. Casemiro then jumps in. It's tidied up by Wambasaka. bissaka has got it. Touches it to Hoyland. Back to Kobe. He's put Fernandez on the floor, Kobe Mainu. He's found a lovely pass towards Hoyland, but just behind him. Nice bit of play there by Mainu and Hoyland linking up. Fernandez. Uh, Joe, I, I think I think for the sake of just easiness, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it Fernandez and I, I'm gonna call it Enzo and Bruno to be honest. Part ten. Have you ever planned to watch along with Mr. B? Someone on the agenda if both views and can be engaging. Yeah, Joe, I, I might have to like look into. I know Mr. B does all the uh, watch alongs on the agenda, so I'm not sure if I can do a joint stream really with it. Maybe there is a way we can go live on both channels or something. I don't know. Could be fun. Uh, Daniel says, if Jackson and Hoyland switch teams, Chelsea would be top four and United would be 12th. United's lucky not to be 12th anyway, man. <laughs> we haven't, we're have we under 50 points at the minute. We've got 48 points. <laughs> we're just about safe from relegation. <laughs> nah, we're, we're not, maybe not that bad, but... Casemiro with the Bruno. Anthony goes for the shot again. Anthony's getting the shots off anyway, but... Petrovic has got that one. Garnaccio's trying to put a bit of his press on Hoyland as well. The Sassy clips it forward. Maguire's going to deal with that. Manu's playing a little bit higher up than I want, but he's just knocking Caicedo and Enzo Fernandez about at times as well. Like people do, people do underrate the physicality Cobby's got as well. Um, nice touch by Casemiro. Anthony plays it in to Kobe Mainu. Bruno goes in. Surely he's fouled there, Bruno Fernandes. Nothing given. Chelsea coming away with it. United getting players back. Not quite set yet, though. Will Palmer's got this one. Malo Gusto. Caicedo. To Palmer. Back to Enzo. Just, uh, Chelsea is playing a little bit of kick ball here and United's half, just happy to get back on the ball. Paul Palmer looks dangerous though, picking up interesting positions, dropping in, dropping deep, finding his fullback, getting passes off. Uh, what have we got? Barashil, it's a nice ball out there towards Midrick, good first time ball. Midrick to the byline and dealt with by Wambasaka, but at the expense of a corner kick and more defensive work to be done. Cole Palmer takes the corner kick for Chelsea. Daniel says 10 second timeout for disagreement. 
Man, what, why are you timing out Bart? Don't do that. Don't be a dick. <laughs> uh, Bart said, do you think Jackson's been better after AFCON? It's his first season in the league. Lignan is. He might do better next year. He might do. Cucurello with a shot and into the stands, but no pressure. Not a lot of pressure from United actually trying to get out to stop the shot there either. Malo Gusu absolutely does <laughs> Garnacho there. And it's a decent enough hit by uh, Cucurello. Good positioning, but it's never really got it down. Garnacho's got this one. Good touch, but loses out. Chelsea going to come again. Cole Palmer with the ball into the channel. Harry Maguire's been done. It's going to be a goal kick. Angle says he's gone Michael Parr. Man, it's all right, just chill, bro. Chill, bro. It's all good. It's all good. Harry Maguire went to ground there. Didn't win it. That's not good, like, but we, we get away with it. It's a good thing he didn't touch Nicholas Jackson there as well. Or said, can't believe the number of signings Todd has made so far. I think he's made as many as Ferguson did in 26 years. It's something insane, man. Okay, Sado plays it backwards. Hoyland trying to put the pressure on. Casemiro plays it out. Juan Bissaka can get a ball in here. He takes it back. I don't know why he's doing that. Had to try a bit of the cross there. But it's gone Kobe. He's found Garnacho with the back stick. Garnacho goes with a shot, but looks like it's going to hit the corner flag if it's gone out yet. Far from his best attempt that Garnacho. Uh, reaction on Keane's comments with Erling Haaland. I think he's a little bit hyperlistic as well I, I, he's, Erling Haaland's play in general is better than a League 2 if you're talking about his on-ball quality yeah like he doesn't make a lot of passes he doesn't have to it's not really his job you know at his job he's probably the best in the world but I mean he, he's still a sensational footballer it's not that he's just crap outside of the box like he can do it it's, it's not at the same level obviously there's a big drop off I think Anthony's give a penalty away here, guys. Gonna have to watch this again. Mudra causing us issues. Ball inside. Anthony. I think he's gonna give that. Anthony's wrong side of him as well. He gets wrong side of him, and I think he, I think it's going to stand. Down to the Chelsea guys, could be two 0 here. Ten Hag and Van der Gag looking pretty bemused on the sidelines, but it could be about to get worse here. It it it, it is a penalty. It is going to be called Palmer. He's been very good from the penalty spot as well. Yeah, penalty stands, guys, as well. <clears throat> it's going to be cool Palmer against Onana. We need Onana to be big here. Chatsport said United even on the pitch. United are on the pitch, but it's the same It's the same uh, United that we've seen at the weekend. Cool Palmer, it's 2-0. This is just getting ugly, guys. Uh, the mentality of the players in the squad is really poor. Is it due to lack of leadership in the group, says uh, Bart? It, it probably is. It's just a lack of planning and leadership from the bench with the coach and the manager. 
on the pitch, it's not good. I mean, I've got people defending, like, the players out here to me as well sometimes, saying, look, we need to keep hold of Varane and Casemiro. Good experience heads. They're doing fuck all out there as well. Like, it couldn't get any worse without them. So, I don't know, guys. I don't know. It's 2 0 Chelsea. It's Cole Palmer again. Yeah, it's not look it's not looking good guys at the minute. A long way back, guys. A long, long way back at the minute. Anyway, let me have a check out the comments. No doubt some words coming in. Bart down there, Cole Palmer's a good and young player of the year. It depends, man, because I'm pretty sure Phil Foden's going to be eligible for it. And I'm pretty sure Foden will win it out of the two. Like, but Palmer has been good. Torrid start here in the first 20 minutes. I mean, it would be nice if we actually turned up. Bruno loses it and then goes to the ground and rolls about. Chelsea's going to kick on. It's Midrick, Colby. Bart's going to cheer us up in the next match against Liverpool. Thanks, Bart. I appreciate it, buddy. Cole Palmer's driving. Casemiro just gets bypassed. Maybe another corner kick. It's all Chelsea at the minute. It is all Chelsea at this moment in time. I don't know, guys. It's not, it's, we are in for a very long night as things stand. And that's got a big um, turnaround here. Anyway, corner kick to Chelsea. Palmer with it. Puts it into the box. Can be cleared by Harry Maguire. Well up the pitch there by Maguire as well. We've conceded 200 shots in the last Premier League, in the last 10 Premier League matches. Two, only 200 shots in the last 10 league matches. Uh, Bourne is down there. Honestly, cannot understand the 50% who predicted a United win. I, I, I don't know either, man. I really don't. I really don't. Petrovic has got it. It's gone well up the pitch there. I think it's uh, Nicholas Jackson winning that. Casemiro wins back. Maguire goes long. And Anthony tries to fight with Malo Gusto. And it's going to be a goal kick. Anthony looks for Muse, but it's a goal kick. Unfortunately. Uh, but guys, big ups in those 16 likes anyway. Andy Oates is down there. Manager will be sacked in the summer. Uh, it's getting hard to defend. Like, I can't see him staying or being kept on by Enios at the minute. I really cannot see it. I, I really can't see it. And it's unfortunate. It is unfortunate, but I just can't see it. Uh, Daniel said, Anthony, one of the worst players to ever play. The guy makes over ton of Bebe look like uh, Prime Robin and Rebury. Fair enough, Daniel, man. S said how you feel. Uh, Manu's got this one. Loses out. Bruno goes in on Enzo, and Enzo just going to get the ball away there. Palmer against Dalu. Dalu's been done. Cole Palmer's still going and tripped by Dallow, I think. Come here, free kick. Uh, Bart said Malo Gusto is a high ceiling. Yeah, I mean, I would have loved us to have signed uh, Malo Gusto. I really would have, because I think I think he's a hell of a player, to be honest. Um, I, th I think he would have been a really good signing. But we didn't go for it. Anyway, guys, free kick to Chelsea. Uh, Connor Gallagher stands over it, as does Cole Palmer. Uh, 
Uh, Andy said, I, w- I would sack him not for the results, but possibly for the worst player to ever wear a shirt. I mean, <laughs> the results are bad. The football's bad. The mood is bad. De Sassi gets a free header at the back stick and should be hitting the post there. Absolutely should be hitting the back. Chatsport said, the amount of money United spend on sacking managers, we could have just bought them back. But we probably could have. We probably could have. I just can't see Ten Hag lasting beyond this season, to be honest. I really can't. Um, based, based upon everything we're seeing at the minute. And I know I know the view of Radcliffe and Ineos is going to be very much not looking at this season, but looking at him as a character, as a manager, as a coach, and saying, if we have... If Eric Ten Hag was available in the market, would we go and get him to be manager? That's what they're going to judge it off. I just don't know if they're going to do that, to be honest. I, I think they'll just look at it and say, let's just have a new, a new start here. Uh, Andy Oates would take Thomas Frank or a really good up-and-coming manager and Gary O'Neill. I mean, Gary O'Neill was a rogue, a rogue shot months ago um, from someone on here, and I feel like we all laughed it off at the time, but I don't even know anymore. I really don't. I, I'm seeing people say, let's go get Kieran McKenna. I'm seeing people say, let's go get uh, Graham Potter. I don't know. Nagelsmann's the one for me but I don't know if we're going to get that deal done to be honest Bruno's just lost out again to Cole Palmer Andy Oates said Sanchez is the worst fair enough fair enough I think if we signed Anthony for what he was worth we probably wouldn't be as exasperated with him you know the, we were linked to him under Oli, I think, before he went to Ajax for about ten or fifteen million pounds. He's he's that. It, it's kind of frustrating that we paid so much for a guy who mightn't be much better than Dan James. Anthony plays it behind Cucurella, but he's not got the pace to go and drive on with, and has to turn and play it back. Cool. Uh, Connor Gallagher with a file. I mean, I wouldn't mind a bit of color. I actually kind of like Connor Gallagher to be fair. And if Chelsea are selling in the summer, I've heard worse suggestions um, than, than bringing someone like that in. Uh, Bart said maybe you should sign Zidane and someone from Oxford with him and the Oxford guy can speak English. Maybe. Maybe we should get Bielsa and his translator in. That could be a fun ride. <laughs> um, anyway, we're going along with Harry Maguire here. I mean, guys, we look absolutely clueless out there tonight. Really, really do. So badly set up. Uh, and a lot of these are experienced players as well. I just I just cannot envisage a future where this turns around for Eric Ten Hag this season. I really can't. And like, I, I don't know. I, I really don't know. There's a long long way to go in this match, but there's a lot of... Um, the, the, there is an awful, awful lot of football to go in this match, but I mean, is there any guarantee on us doing anything? I really don't know. Manu's got this one. He's going to fizz it out to Garnacho. Garnacho has copied Manu. He's got Dallo to Manu. Manu loses out to Gallagher. It was just lax from Dallo, from um, Manu. Mudrick's into the box here. He's going to have a shot. He has to side netting. Casemiro just jogging back here, like I, I'm sorry for people who do like if if people see Casemiro just walking back there and just like tell me that he needs to be stayed because he's a good influence. Fuck that, like it's an, it's another player we can just get rid of, like honestly, and, and the sooner the better. Um, Wan Bissaka with a foil. Gordon is down there. If we have 10 Anthony for free, we've been upset. Maybe. Uh, Bart said we're running Ten Hag's rep as one of the best coaches in Europe. Will he get employed again? I don't know. I feel like he's running his own um, his own uh, reputation with the persistence of this shit football. Lack of, lack of planning, lack of rest defense, lack of basics in this team. Dallow with a shot there. Deflection. It's going to be a corner. Airfan wants I'm out on.
Guys, right, big ups in the likes anyway. Much appreciate it. Uh, Bruno to check this set piece. Needs to get into the box here. He's got height to aim in there with Harry Maguire, with who is that? Hoyland and Varane in there. There's targets, so let's see if we can hit them. Bruno, ball in. Free header for Badashiel, gets it out. Anthony recovers. Plays it to Dallow in a central area. Not a best crossing position here. And Dallow's just kicked it into the stand. It's not good, guys. It's just really not good. I don't know if there's any other way to say it. Chelsea coming forward again here. It's Enzo. Looks for Jackson. Ball's won there by Varane. Not a lot of pressure there on him at all. Or Varane was an offside. Chelsea come again. Maguire wins it. Anthony. Casemiro. Bruno. Casemiro again. Copy Minor goes wide. Nice ball. He's got Garnacho, but Garnacho's not got a lot of options ahead of him. I think he gets fouled there, to be fair. Pick up some 20 likes, guys. Much appreciated. Much appreciated, anyway. Good to see the support from you guys is still there, despite the fact that we might be losing the will to support this team at the minute. Uh, have I tried Stroop Waffles? No, I haven't, but I haven't, actually. Um, what are Stroop Waffles? Uh, you know, there's things that I might have tried that I just don't know the name of, to be honest. Um, you know, that's very much a possibility as well. Free kick here. Bruno's got it. Need to get a good ball into the box here. Wires at the back stick. We get a good ball in. Casemiro hit the deck. I'm gonna drop the Mino with a shot there. See if by Petrovic and Chelsea are gonna come forward. We gotta get ourselves back into positions. Guys, big up some twenty likes. Uh, Steph Daniel Thunder, who's one hundred percent sold this season. Um, I mean, if we wanna look at this team, Casemiro sold for me. I think Anthony's sold for me ideally. Wambasaka is just not good enough either. Maguire, Varane's going to leave on free probably. Um, you can make the argument about Bruno Fernandes potentially based upon this season. Um, but I don't know. I think it's all wishful thinking. A lot of, I think a lot will leave, but I don't know how many we can actually ship on. Casemiro's just got no desire to be out there. He's just walking about in the pitch. Casemiro clears. Bruno's just launched a forward there. Anthony might keep that in, but no chance for it there. But Garnacho's in. Garnacho's got a chance. Has to get the shot off. He's 2 1. Garnacho makes it 2 1. He's preying on Chelsea and he managed to get in. It's a big mistake at the back from De Sassi and Caicedo. And it's 2 1. That's a very, very sloppy goal from Moses Caicedo to give away. It's just shock. I, I don't know. <laughs> De Sassi and Caicedo made an absolute mare of that. Garnacci's there to pounce on it, and he gets a goal. It's a good finish. On the left foot.
Two on. Has that overlay updated? Why is that overlay saying latest news? What's going on there? That's weird. I don't know what's happened to my overlay. There we go. We're back. It was weird. Don't know why yesterday's overlay popped up. Enzo Fernandez picks up a yellow card. Daniel said the Argentine Ronaldo fanboy. United Felipe's favorite player, <laughs> Garnacho. Um, yeah, Bart, sorry. What is Droop Waffles? Tell me this, buddy. Uh, maybe I've had them, like, and I just don't know about it. McGuire gets it in there. Our McGuire got the flick on, but the ball just goes out. It's actually won all in the Liverpool Sheffield United match. That's going to be a surprise for some. How did Enzo get booked either there, guys? I'm not quite sure how Enzo Fernandez managed to get booked. Was it for complaining or did he make a foul off the ball or something? I don't know. I swear. Sorry, I just seen that he popped up. He got a yellow card. I'm going to have to go watch it back here. There we go. Chelsea making mistakes at the back. It's just an absolute gift. Bruno with a shot there, and it's well over the bar. Fair play to um, Anthony for keeping it in. Daniel says WTF crying. Uh, Chelsea goal kick here anyway, guys. Yeah, it was an Enzo. Enzo Fernandez apparently did make a foul. I don't know how he managed to get a yellow card. Chat Sports did calls for Oli to return. Connor Bradley on goal, I think, was it shit <laughs> at Anfield. Bart said, strip waffles are Dutch. They have checkered appearance, like waffles. They're spherical and have a caramel coating on them. Best had with a cup of coffee. Very nice. Big save there by Onana. It's from Enzo Fernandez. Uh, Bart, I've never had them. Now, I've had, um, I guess you would probably call them mini pancakes. I, I don't know what the... Uh, the Dutch term would be for that there because uh, it if, if, for anybody who doesn't know I know Daniel's in the comments if you're talking about the Belfast Christmas markets there's this uh, Dutch stand that do these um, miniature pancakes with like this uh, I think it's like icing sugar on top of it and then they do like this uh, syrup on top of it as well it's quite, it's quite nice but you get like maybe 20 of these little mini pancakes um, in, a, in a serving I wonder if that's something similar good ball there by Anthony of Angarnaccio Della with the ball it's 2-2 two -two, it's Bruno Hoyland left it Bruno got it it's a lovely ball by Dallo. it's 2-2 two -two. I told you there'd be gold tonight I told you there would be gold tonight. It's set up for a Mason Mount winner. Bart says, you mean Dutch puffertjes? I don't know what they are, man. Daniel's talking about caramel waffles. I don't know, man. Everyone's telling me about uh, toffee yum yums as well from Littles. Need to go try some of them, to be honest. It's a lovely ball in there. Bruno just drifted in. De Sassi was just watching Hoyland. I think it's a shout there from Bruno. Two two. Out of nowhere. Chelsea bottled the two. Oh, two goal lead somehow against us here.
Just for Zed McTom, the winner. Maybe. Daniel Brenner, the man who's for so long has been a shadow of his former self, has shown a touch of class. He will be victorious in the Battle of the Banter Clubs. Daniel, man, you're stuck on uh, Caps Lock. Kaiseru plays it. Mudrick with the shot. Onana with the save. Or said, uh, the Dutch or the Dutch poffertjes are pancakes. They're a popular ho holiday treat, but lack the crunch of a stroop waffle. The latter are thinner too. There we go. We always get an education from Bart, honestly. <laughs> Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Anyway. 40 minutes gone. 2-2. Two -two. Bruno's let that off. So Nana. Bruno goes long. Wambasaka flicks. Guys, to be fair, Anthony's actually been pretty good today. I'm not an Anthony fan. That's a good ball in there by... I think it's... Who won that there one? Varane looks injured. Johnny Evans about to come on. The man, the myth, the legend. Daniel says, said quietly, fifth place still possible. Jeez, man. I, nine points off it? <laughs> I don't know if it is. Varane looks injured. This is another centre-half injury. Guys, we got 20 likes. Can we get 21? Got Bruno on a set piece. Ball goes up there. Harry Maguire gets it onto the back stick. And it's behind. But Harry Maguire maybe could have done better there. Maybe could have done better. Both these teams are so unpredictable, man. <laughs> I've just seen someone online just liking this here. Two drunk men fighting outside for the last taxi home. I, I feel like that's what we're watching here. Uh, Bart said, thanks for taking interest in my random chatter. I had a long day at work and felt like having these on the way back. Oh, no problem at all, Bart. Like, honestly, man, I had a long day at work myself. Bart saying Ten Hag needs to sub himself on. God, I mean, <laughs> Rio Ferdinand's in the shit. There's more chance of him getting a shirt than ending up in the pitch. Hi, Tori Chat. Good to see you, buddy. Thanks for joining in with us. Jackson Martinez. Or, no, not Jackson Martinez. Nicholas Jackson. Rashad said United win 3-2. I predicted 3-2 on my own show and on the agenda. I don't know why Jackson Martinez just randomly came into my head. Does anyone remember the couple of seasons Jackson Martinez had at Porto back in the day? Honestly, I didn't see him. Then he went, after a lot of talk about a potential move to Arsenal, he went to Atletico Madrid and just never did anything ever again. Harry Maguire's got this one. Oh, Nana's got it. Gonna go really long. Are we looking for Dallow, is it? Yeah, Dallow with the file. He's not too happy, Dallow, but can't complain with that one. Can't argue with it. Was that? Why is Stripe Waffle talk? <laughs> Bart is fancy talking about stroop waffles. Honestly, I've never had one of these things. I'm gonna have to go try them now. Maybe that can be a halftime question uh, to Bart and Rujat then. Uh, what some good toppings or um, sauces for stroop waffles? Or like, what what do we go for? Is it a caramel? Is it like a, a toffee? Or Rujat said Anthony to hold the ref to F off. I missed that one. Five minutes out of time coming up for something. Onana, clip, looking for Bruno. Bruno flicks. Casemiro boggles over his head. He's going a bit out of it, maybe gets it. Jasper said, who got the second? Second goal scored by Bruno Fernandez, but a header at the back post, actually. 
Wambasaka caught out. And Caicedo's got this one. Mudrick there, tackle from Wambasaka, but it is going to be a corner kick to Chelsea. I don't know, guys. I'm still not. I'm still not convinced at all by Casemiro today. Really not. Uh, that's it. Dello ball to Bruno. Yeah, it's an interesting one. There must have been a, a call from Bruno to Hoyland because Hoyland left the ball when he was mid air. Um, because Bruno was behind him. Anthony's probably fouled Cucurella there. No, so what? Bart says Ronaldo scored a couple of hat tricks last week. Yeah, I think he did, man. Um, for, for Al Nasser, of course. I, I know Foden got a really good hat trick last night as well. Copy Manu stayed down. Uh, Midrick, Connor Gallagher. Gallagher plays it backwards. Enzo Fernandez lifts. Gusto takes it down. That's nice offside. Uh, Barto Casemiro would have suited Jose set up play. Him and Pogba would have bullied City. Yeah, but that Casemiro was a different player as well, man. You know, you're talking six, seven years ago there when he's 25, 26, not 32. Barto, sorry, Rajat said Bruno was okay as captain. Sure, he complains a lot. But uh, many players are like him. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those. Nobody else complains, so I feel like maybe he has to. I don't know. Casemiro's having the word anyway with the referee, but... I don't know, guys. I'd be thinking about booking him a a, a, a flight a flight to Jeddah or Riyadh in the summer if we can. Was that... Uh, Casemiro wouldn't leave Real then. No, he wouldn't. Why would he have? You know, he was part of that three-in-a-row Champions League squad. He's having to go anyway with Enzo Fernandez at the minute. Really not happy about him. I wouldn't mind seeing a replay to see what's causing the issues. Nana goes long. Ball's going to come right back down to Jackson. Jackson... Up against Varane. Varane seems to be continuing, but there was there was talk about Johnny Evans coming on a couple of minutes ago. You would imagine it's probably going to be a half-time sub or evaluation anyway. Bart said, in the summer, Jetta boils at 47 degrees. It does, but when you've got big air conditioning units that can cool an entire stadium down, it, it'll be all right. Like, But then again, I do remember the World Cup. All the players were getting like um, strep throat and stuff because of the... Uh, the air conditioning being on them like 24 hours a day <laughs> so things we have to consider a couple of sore throats possibility out there Bruno's on the deck not happy about something replay wouldn't be too bad to see at all here Bruno hobbling I feel like Bruno hobbles and jumps about like half the match sometimes uh, Caicedo's lost it here Anthony We've got Anthony with it. Bruno's got it. He's almost found Manu. The Sassy has got it now. Chelsea's probably going to take a clear. Caicedo's looking so sloppy in the ball at times. He really is. Daniel might be right when he says this is the battle of the banter clubs. Like, there's some of the mistakes out there. Casemiro, Varane out there. Chelsea coming forward here. It's four against three. It's Cole Palmer. Slips in Gallagher and off the post. Well, United didn't really hurry their way back there, and Connor Gallagher's hit the post. Bruno's got it. He's got. They're saying Maguire's determined to get Ferran off the pitch. Uh, I don't know, that didn't look comfortable at all for, for Varane or for uh, Casemiro either going back there. Nice flick by wan to find Bruno, lovely ball, but Petrovic has got that one. Gonna have to get Varane off here.
That ball's going to go out. I think we've got about 30 seconds left here in the half, so you would imagine Varane's probably going to see it out just for now. But Gallagher almost went a 3-2 at the, at the near post. Hit the post there. Hit it well. Just about half time now. It's going to be a throw in the United. You would imagine that'll probably take us to half time. Now it is half time. It's 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 two two at half time. It's been an interesting half. Um, United finding their way back into it after going two goals down. A, a bit of character and um fight on display there. Some bad errors there by Chelsea as well. Um, but. We find our way back in it. Garnacho and Bruno with the goals. I think we've got some comments to go through. Um, any thoughts on the first half? Make sure to drop them in down below, guys. I'm sure everyone's got plenty they want to get talking about. A weird half, indeed. A, a weird 45 minutes of football. Well, 50 minutes of football, if we're being honest with ourselves. Um... Anyway, guys, pick up some of the likes as well. Make sure to drop a like if you haven't already. If you guys haven't voted on the poll, make sure to do so as well. I'm going to stick Liverpool versus Sheffield United on for the last couple of minutes here and see what's on, what's going on in this match. Well, McAllister's just scored. McAllister's just made a 2 1 there. Uh, Bart says Chelsea's backroom staff have too many cooks. Spawning the broth, they have Guy from Leipzig, Joe Shields too. If United could snare one, they'd be said as their talent ID is elite. Yeah, United's building up that the background staff and, and the executive branch of the club. Um, going to take a long time to get going to anyway. Uh, Chatsport said 2-2, United's game starts second half. Yeah. Bart said the way United play makes me really doubt if Eric is a Cruyffian at heart. Lack of cohesion and coordination and attack. And defense and control. Yeah, he's not a Cruyffian at heart man either. Like, he, he's not. I, I don't know what you would even call Ten Hag football because it's it kind of ignores the fundamentals of football of you know compactness out of possession and um, you know con trying to control um, while it's also dominate. You know, you can play transition football, but you can't play transition football and expect to control matches when you're playing these verticals all the time. It just doesn't happen. It really doesn't happen out there. Um, Lucky son there, stay compact. Buddy, we never stay compact. We're never compact, ever. Anyway, um, I've just got Liverpool on for a couple of minutes because I feel like it'll be better than watching Joe Cole talking about Chelsea, to be honest. Um, I've got comments. Salah got subbed off at 65 minutes. We've got 21 likes in the video as well. Uh, Lucky Singh is saying Ahmad Diallo and Johnny Evans coming on. Uh, I think Evans will come on for sure. Not too sure about Ahmad. Maybe he should. But I'm not too sure, man. I don't know. Lucky says I'm out on a 60 minutes. It's kind of set up for a Mason Mount winner, isn't it? <laughs> it's it's one of these ones. Um, it, it really, really is. Um. Anyway, anyway, give me a big, um, a very big second half of football at the bridge. Um, let's see if we can do anything in it. Um, I don't know. Like, I think, I think Evans coming on is guaranteed. I think, um, seeing, um, Miss Mount probably will happen at some time. You would imagine. Um, I'm not too sure though. Bit of a crazy first half, anyway. A comedy half of football says some. Kind of is as well, to be fair. The question of who's worse sometimes. 
Anyway, United is very close to facing the most amount of shots in uh, Europe's top five leagues. 506 conceded. Only Sheffield and Luton have more. Uh, and we're only 34 off Sheffield United. So we're getting closer. <laughs> we are getting closer. Anyway, some half... Some sec sorry, first half stats to bring you guys. 11 shots to Chelsea, 13 to United. Four on shot... Uh, four shots on target for each team. Uh, United shooting possession with 53%. Pass accuracy both 83%. Uh, United seven fouls. To Chelsea's four. Chelsea have two yellows. Um, and all the corners really going to Chelsea. Just one for ourselves there. One man Casemiro coming off half time. Really not looking good out there in my, in my opinion. But again, that's just my thoughts. If you guys think differently, let me know down below. Uh, Bart is on there. Would you have liked it if Van Gaal got a third season or become a director? I mean, it would have been interesting to see where we would have went if he got a third season. Because he was only a couple of players away from having an interesting team. Um, I couldn't say I'd be a fan of um, Louis van Gaal's um, tenureship as a director of football. Um, I'm, I'm sure, I, I, I'm sure um, Bart is going to know about this. But if you don't, please look up... Um, I, th I think they called it the Velvet Revolution. It was like a fallout between Van Gaal and uh, Johan Cruyff at, um, at, at, at Ajax. Um, one, one to watch, I've, one to read up on. It's an interesting story. Um, Chatsport United will do well to get back on it. Yeah, we have done. Uh, Carpi has deleted a message. Uh, Bart said United have conceded the most shots, but most of them are low XG. Read the article on The Athletic for more. Yeah. I'm just not happy with the sheer volume, man. I'm really not. I, I still can't be happy with the volume of shots that we face every match. Uh, Lucky says, keep a little bit running mentality. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Carpe is a joke. Now Varane injured defender after defender. It's beyond a joke. Cannot keep them fit. I wonder why we cannot play properly. Very good. It's a good point. It is a very, it's a good point. Um, you know, you want to have a stable base in your team, but it's also... I, I don't know why we've ended up with a team that looks like this and the way we play our players and seemingly run players into the ground and rush them back just seems to contribute to these injuries that we keep picking up, but... I don't know, guys. I really don't sometimes. Um... So frustrating. So frustrating. Let me fire back on United. Because I think we'll be getting ready for second half pretty soon. I think we will be getting ready for second half soon enough. Let me quickly do that. Anyway, guys, uh, make sure to drop a like on the video. We're up to 21. Let's see if we can get the 30 likes by the end of the stream. Um, getting It's going to be an interesting second half here at the Stamford Bridge. Um, can we come back? Can we complete a comeback? Who knows? Uh, I wouldn't mind putting as much pressure on Caicedo as we can because he's been shocking out there. Make, make no mistake, he's been absolutely shocking out there. Uh, Bart said Van Gaal's side controlled the game, lacked a midfielder, enforcer and a striker. Um, he betted young players in when the big games went from home and got a trophy, yet he got banned. What chances Eric have? And, and I, not much of a chance, to be honest, man, really. Um, I still don't think, regardless of this, he's got his Ten Hag last, beyond, like beyond this season. You, know, you ask yourself, you know, coming back is good in this match. If we come back and win, yep, yeah, really good. But why do we find ourselves in this position all the time we always find ourselves in these positions um, and yeah but like just to answer your question there Bart as well I think Van Gaal's football is so boring at times yes he missed a finisher he missed a real out and out goal scorer um, he probably could have done with another holding midfielder but there wasn't enough creativity in that team because a very slow team not enough speed of play at times as well mm. You know, we really just lacked so much. And we play, there, there was no penetration in that team. You know, we played everything in front of the opposition every time.
Uh, Lucky says, do we keep Casemiro on for 60 minutes? It's a tricky one. It is, because I don't think he's played well out there. I really don't think he's played well, Lucky. I, I really don't. I think he could go Manu at six and put Mount on or put McTominay on. Uh, Chelsea seem to be struggling in midfield with Manu's movement. And um, I, I've, I've seen him put Enzo Fernandez and I've seen him put um, Caicedo on their ass a couple of times out there. So I don't know. Let me do this. Anyway, guys, on the poll, we got 61% went for the win. Let's. I wonder if they're going to be right. We go through some extreme emotions on this channel. This club do manage to put us through the ringer very often, don't they? They, they really do. They really do. Uh, Lucky says 63 minutes mount in maybe Carpi is done there Cyclist 10 hug out talk then they stand by him it will happen again we get a new manager within two years and um, United won't change till proper structure is sorted I think yeah but I think the big argument is arguably we've got that proper structure now or it's it's at least coming in to, to me I think that you still have to be accountable for what happens on the pitch as bad as some of the structure and the people above him have been, you know, Ten Hag himself has been with issues. And it, it's one of them, it's, I think it's a really simple and um, obvious point to make that the players haven't been good enough this season, but the manager hasn't been good enough either. But somehow within the vortex that is Manchester United fan coverage, that is Manchester United media and coverage mm -hmm. and opinions, it's either one or the other. You're for the players or you're for the manager. I think you can criticise both. I really do think you can. And I always try to be constructive with the criticism I see out there. I mean, at times this season and over the last summer, I would have wanted Harry Maguire gone. Um, you know, I really would have. But I also think he's probably been our best centre-back this season. Both of those things can be true. you know. And I think that Ten Hag's the same. I think that the players have let him down on the pitch. I think the board have let him down off the pitch but I also think on a game to game basis and it's from a tactical point of view he's also letting himself down as well and, and I think all can be true and, and I think all are true in in that sense as well um what is that? I don't know what that was um I got comments um coming in here what are my comments saying I'll quickly pull it up on my phone. Uh, Carpe is on there. It's embarrassing. Can't believe people want Ten Hag out. Arsenal fans wanted Arteta out two years ago. Got printed shirts. And look at the time. Southgate, etc. will be the people in. I, I don't think we'll get Southgate, buddy, to be honest. Uh, Barty, let me put it this way. Do you really think Klopp or Guardiola would do better with this um, group of players? Would Nagelsmann or Emery do better? Yeah, to, to, to be honest. Like, I think, I think they at least fix the tactical issues we got out there. Like... Manchester United facing 506 shots this season. Only Sheffield United and Luton haven't faced more in the entirety of the top five leagues in European football. That is an issue that the manager should be able to sort by changing the system, but we've never done it. So I think all can be true. You know, I think he's let down by the quality of the players. I think he's let down by the lack of physicality. The how injury prone some of these players are some of that is his fault, some of it is going to be the player's fault I think we've had a lot of misses in the transfer market some of that's his fault, some of it's not his fault but on a fundamental basis I think the club need to do better I think the players need to do better and I think the manager needs to do better I think they can all be mutual they can all be mutually exclusive it's not just one issue at this club and that kind of feels redundant to say Like it, it really does but I don't know um, Lucky's done there. Uh, Gip Mount on Carpi needs to be given one more season. People can't say there's been 60 minutes all season. He's played his full um, total strength team against Wolves and look how awesome they were in that six minutes. Uh, Lemon said Ten Hag was responsible for the criticism. United, uh, Maguire's not a United level defender. Michael Hill said uh, it must be the first goal we've conceded from a cutback all season. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's the first one we've conceded today from a cutback. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Honestly, I think maybe what? 30 cutbacks this season. I'm going to go with 30. Uh, Chatsport said, I keep him. I want to see the setup with the backroom stuff. Uh, first game, there it goes. Uh, Carpy says, no manager in this planet will do better, so why change and hug? 
He still has the best win percentage in and the club's history. Um, someone says Bart comments are too meaty as well. It, it's it's just hard to know what to do, to be honest, guys. I, I just don't know if I've got faith. Like, I, I, I really don't. And I mean, I want to. I'm not saying I'm 100% Ten Hag out, but I'm just looking at it from the point of view that he's going to lose his job if he doesn't improve the levels. We should not have found ourselves 2 0 down here in the first place. The tactical, it's from a tactical point of view, it's just not been good enough so many times this season. Uh, and there's no hiding from the fact of it. As, you know, if we want players to be accountable and get dropped if they're bad, then the manager is also going to have to be accountable for it. Johnny Evans is out there. Um, I got comments. Carpe, um, if there's an issue, Ten Hag, and then he was no, but um, until the summer, he can't do that and get dropped. I mean, yeah, look, that's that's also true. Ten Hag, I don't think, has been allowed to be a coach. You know, and that that he's had so much to do and so much outside of just coaching this team that he's maybe not had time to fully mm -hmm. focus on it. Will he be a victim of the lack of structure around him? Possibly. Um, that's still possible. I don't know. It's so hard to know what's going to happen. So hard to predict what's going to happen. It, he could be the manager next season. He might be sacked in June. Who knows? It's hard to know. It's very hard to know. Uh, lucky, at least Ten Hag was standing in the first half. It's a very low bar if we're taking it by the manager standing or sitting. I remember people used to get angry at Van Gaal for having like an iPad tactic board with him at all times. Anyway, we are kicking off for the second half. And let's see if we can complete a comeback and get a win here, guys. A, a, a win takes us uh, within, I think, six or seven points of Spurs and ten points of Villa. So that's, that's not good, guys. Um, top four is looking very unlikely at the minute, but, I mean, you've got to win this match and you've got to win at the weekend and see where, see where you stand by then. Casemiro just launches the ball over the top right forward into the Chelsea goalkeeper's arms. Uh, the man said that I see Casemiro jogging. Yeah, I did, buddy. Tactical sub there. Maripod's making my ear really sore for some reason. So we're swapping ear. Uh, Lucky's done there. Um, look at Mount 61 minutes. Carpy said 2-0 down through an anonymous mistake and a soft penalty. How's that the manager's fault? I would say it's manager's fault because we've considered that same cutback goal 30 times this season that's a tactical issue that he should have fixed if it happens once in a match yeah you can excuse the players if it happens five or six times over a season yeah that happens but when it's constantly the one goal being scored against us without a solution then that's going to come down to the manager at some point as well um, yeah Unana should have done better but you go back and watch any goal we've considered this season most of them will look just like that Harry Maguire's got this one He's played a forward towards Hoyland. He's fighting for it. Caicedo picks it up. Tassassi goes for it. Dallow's won it. Dallow has options with Garnacho. And Gar Garnacho flicks it to Bruno. Bruno with a shot. United screaming for handball, Bruno included. Anthony takes it. Casemiro might drop to Hoyland. Hoyland goes down now. Been a fast start by United. VAR is going to have something to look at here. Surely Maguire goes for it and forces a save. Harry Maguire, the left winger there. Wouldn't mind a, a replay on this, to be honest. Don't think they're being looked at either of these potential penalty shots. Born in the mid 2010s, Chelsea United was like the English El Clasico. We could face each other in cups and Champions Leagues. It's sad seeing the decline. It is, yeah. I mean, like also I said, 15 years ago, this is a league decider, a Champions League decider, FA Cup deciders. 
No, it's just like two borderline banter clubs sometimes out there. Uh, anyway, Manu's knocked this forward. Granatu can't get to it. Casemiro slides in and gets nowhere near it. Well, Palmer's got all the space in the world. He's going to have a shot here, surely. Blocked by Harry Maguire. It's away there by um, Anthony. Good night to Bart. Thank you for joining in tonight, Bart. Much appreciated. Uh, Casemiro's got this one. Bruno has it. Bruno Garnacho. We got a shot? No. It's a blocks corner kick. Garnacho to take the corner. He's going to take a quick. Yeah, he has done. He's got Bruno. Bruno, with a really bad ball, has just played it right to Malo Gusto. It's an absolute waste. Cole Palmer's running in behind. Dallo seen the run and is back to sweep up. And it, probably going to go back to Nana at some point here and has done. Anyway, guys, it's been an eventful start to the second half. Gusto plays it inside. Poor ball. But controlled by Enzo. Uh, Gallagher flicks it on. Back to, I think it's by Shiel. Cucurella. No. Moses Caicedo. Chelsea just getting a little bit of possession, but that's nicked by Kobe Minu very nicely. Anthony has lost it. Cucurella goes on the outside. Anthony goes to ground. Gets a block in. It's going to drop again to to Gallagher, I think, guys. Chelsea just grown into the second half a little bit in the last minute or so after a very, very start, quick start to the second half by uh, United with some penalty shots in there. Harry Maguire bombing forward as an overlapping winger. Uh, De Sassi's got this one. He's gone outside to Gusto. Gusto back to De Sassi. Bruno trying to put the squeeze on. I think Chelsea are there to be pressed. They've been a little bit sloppy at the back in possession, especially uh, Moises Caicedo. That ball's just going to drop right to Andre Onana. Pochettino a man under pressure as well. It's a hard game to predict what's going to happen in it, isn't it, guys? <laughs> like, it's just so difficult. <laughs> Casemiro plays this one out. Um, Johnny Evans has got it this time. Johnny Evans plays it back to Onana to Harry Maguire. Maguire comes inside to play it forward towards Anthony, and that's just going to be easily cut out there by Cucurella. I drop for a throw in. About five minutes gone. Pretty eventful start to the second half. No change to the scoreline as of yet, anyway. Uh, Bruno's got this one. Bruno's got, is that Anthony? Anthony, he's got Bruno on the inside. Cut out by Midrick. Chessboard, Chelsea fall off in the second half, and that's where they switch off. Hopefully. Enzo's played it off Garnacho. He's got a lot of space ahead of him now. He's got Cole Palmer. It's going to drop to Enzo. Big block there by Johnny Evans at the back. Manu's got clattered there, but it's going to get up. Bruno's got Hoyland and Anthony ahead of him. Goes for Anthony. Has to go on the outside again to Hoyland. Hoyland to get the shot off. It's going to be... Tackled there by De Sassi. Just too slow there with it. Bruno had to play it to Hoyland, I think. Harry Maguire is fouled. Nicholas Jackson is probably going to get a yellow card here. Very, very end-to-end -end here. <laughs> it's just vibes. Table tennis football at their times, but I mean, it's entertaining, like. Chat Sports said they conceded in the last 15. Yeah, they said that in commentary as well. You know, Chelsea have conceded goals late on. I wouldn't mind a goal here in the first 15 of the second half, let on the last. Jackson's in behind. Jackson with a shot, saved by Onana. Woodrick, Casemiro, loses it.
Going at you. Password said that's Jackson Bond for a game. Did I miss something? Maybe the stream's behind. They said it. Palmer. Evans blocks. Garnacho's got it. Good defending that by Garnacho. Sorry, by Tassassi, I think it is. <laughs> it's just been a crazy game so far, guys. It really has been. Midrick has got this one. Gallagher, Caicedo, Evans with the block, Garnacho with the bad pass, Sassi picks it up, Sassi, Enzo, Hoyland's carrying it, next up Bruno, Bruno, over the bar, has to hit the target there Bruno. And take a breath for a second. <laughs> it's been a crazy, crazy half there. Bruno's got to do better there. No tactics out there. It's just vibes. It's a fun match. Chaos football out there at times, guys. Jasper, Jasper, why is Jackson banned for a game? Did, did I miss something? That was a follower by Dallow. Uh, Muhin is on there. Both teams are terrible. It's one of those, like, <laughs> I don't think either team <laughs> have been defensively solid or um, had, have been following a tactical plan. But, I mean, it's an entertaining match. I'll put it that way. Anyway, Cole Palmer with the free kick. Heteroid. Child sport, better possession football, especially if you're the winner. Yeah, definitely, man. Um, Bruno wins it. It's going to be a foul on Collar Gallagher's. Just very slow one, but Gallagher will be happy to get away with that one. Wasn't the best touch there. Hoyland's getting away. Has to have a shot. Come on, Hoyland. No. I think DeSassi got a touch there. Yeah. Corner kick. Jasper said total amount of yellows. Rates of Jackson gets. Oh right, 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 right. right. I thought I thought maybe like he got booked and I missed it or something. Uh, corner to United. Bruno. Casemiro over the bar. Midden. Uh, no, no fan or United's big team. Circle home of legends. Where everyone plays our joke on the stuff. I mean, fair. <laughs> Fair play, buddy. Like it, it's hard. It's hard to disagree sometimes. The sassy tries to take it out. The sassy likes carrying the ball. I don't know if it's always worked out for him. Really, so much space out there for both teams at times there as well. Well, Palmer with a shot and saved by Onana.
Midrick to take this. 17 shots for each team. It's so open out there at times as well, guys. Guys, drop a like if you haven't already. Make sure to hit that sub button as well if you guys are new. It would be really appreciated. Uh, corner's going to come in here from uh, Mikel and Midrick. wan is down. And looks like we will have a pause in play anyway. 22 likes, guys. Thanks so much for that. 23 now. Let's see what happened there. I think it's just a collision in the box. I think he's alright, though. Painful one. Painful one. Uh, Milan, don't forget to like and share, guys. Appreciate the channel. Yeah, of course, guys. Thanks so much as well. Really appreciate all the shoutouts as well. Um, and big up to all the likes as well. Much appreciated, guys. Uh, let me just double check one thing. I think there's been a couple of new subs in tonight's stream as well, which is always nice. Uh, yeah, big up to the two new people who have subscribed. Here you guys are. Much appreciated. Got a break and play here anyway, guys. Twenty four likes, big ups, guys. It's a break and play. Don't know how this is going to affect the match too much. Kambuala getting warmed up. Could he be coming on at right back if wan is unable to continue here? Rashford looks to be coming on as well. wan getting a bit of Vaseline on the head. <laughs> Uh, Garnacho possibly going to come off here for Rashford. Rashford coming on. You would imagine it's Rashford for Garnacho, Kambuala for Wambasaka potentially. I think it's going to be a drop ball here anyway, guys. Uh, big ups and 24 likes as well. Can we get 25, maybe? Maybe? Or am I asking for too much? <laughs> anyway, Kambuala looks to be getting ready. Rashford looks to be ready to come on as well. We're back. We're back in play as well. wan winning to come back on. As per the referee's discretion. Uh, Garnacho's gone in here. Uh, Garn won it. He's got Hoyland ahead of him. Garnacho driving. Has to play inside to Hoyland at some point. Hoyland is the ball. But the Sassy is so quick, so agile. He just gets back there and just really powerful runner to Sassy. And he's just covered that type of ball all match. The corner is it? Or no, I think it's going for a goal kick. Wherever he's given. wan back on, and he's in with the foot in there. Hoyland's putting the squeeze on the goalkeeper. Malogusto's got this one. Just was such a powerful runner as well. Let's out to Palmer. Looks back in towards Gusto. Harry Maguire deals with that one. Bruno hasn't won it, though. Nicholas Jackson recovers. Um, so Gallagher to Palmer. Palmer inside. Bruno's going to pick that up and hopefully play it out. Anthony on a foot race with Cucurella. Can he, can he beat it? He has got past Cucurella. Cucurella just about catching up. Anthony still got it. Heads towards the byline. He's going to get the ball in. Anthony across the face of goal and nobody there. Would have made the near post, near post run.
Hoyland just don't, not in the same just not in the same wavelength as Anthony there Anthony went to cross goal Anthony and Hoyland made the front post run just needed someone at the back post coming in there and that would have been 3-2 Caicedo finds Jackson Bruno trying to squeeze Midrick Midrick's got Palmer Cole Palmer's got Gusto on the outside he's going to go inside an ambitious ball for Midrick but it's going to be picked up by Andre Onana and we go again guys Bruno's got it this time and then we've got Anthony <laughs> very deep guys it looks like Johnny Evans is injured if Johnny Evans is injured guys it's just an absolute disgrace why was he even put on in the first place Because because that that's the Sandra Martinez in the last match, and that could be um, Johnny Evans tonight and Varane tonight. It's an absolute disgrace that Johnny Evans is a man making a win. He probably is. Uh, Hoyland coming off for Rashford. Rashford going to be up top, and Maguire is off. Hoyland not looking happy. Johnny Evans not happy here. He's lasted twenty minutes. We've got 25 likes as well, guys. Big ups on that. Jasper said Evans. Yeah, Evans is off, buddy. Kambuala is on. And then there were two. Two centre-backs fit in the entire club. So Rashford up top. Enzo, he's got Conor Gallagher in Miles' space. Casemiro was nowhere near his man there, but Gallagher has just absolutely launched it off the pitch. Guys, big ups on those likes as well. Much appreciated as always. Twenty-five likes, unbelievable. Anthony's got this one. Rashford's got it. Anthony, Garnacho, Garnacho with a header. It's 3-2. Garnacho has done it. It's fantastic play from Anthony. And it's 3-2. What a pass from Anthony. And what a finish by Garnacho. Unbelievable scenes here at Sanford Bridge, guys. Let me go to the AC replay on that because that looked like a Travella pass there from um, Anthony off the, the outside of the left foot. Yeah, it came from a presser. I think it's Caicedo losing it again. And Rashford just played it into Anthony. Anthony, what a pass. And Garnaccio's just had it. Sassi can't get it off the line. And it's 3 2. This is absolutely astonishing. Garnacho's on a hat trick. Somehow we're three two. I got from Sean down there. Uh, they see the right foot winding up, and I assumed he was going to cut it. Anthony faked him out of it. <laughs> it's unbelievable, mate. It's 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 unbelievable. Like we've been through the highs and the lows here, and we found ourselves three two up. I predicted three two on the show last night on the agenda on Wednesday night. Maybe, maybe I'm just mystic. I don't know. Should have put money on it. <laughs> anyway, got a long way to go yet, guys. Got another what twenty minutes or so here off um, regular time plus whatever's going to be added on as well 
and th this team, we, we, we know that this team's capable of. This could end up finishing 5 all at this point. It's very much possible. How Chelsea find themselves in this position is a bit of a disgrace as well, to be honest. Cucurella's had a shocker of a game at left back as well. He really has been poor out there. Garnacho might nick this. Ooh. Harry Maguire's got it. Lovely ball to find Garnacho. Garnacho goes to the Travella this time. <laughs> Rashford goes close to it. Wambasaka cuts it back nicely. He's got Casemiro. Bruno's going to go back, I think, to Harry Maguire. No, Campbell's got it. Guys, big up to news 25 likes. If you haven't already, make sure to drop a like, hit the sub button. Really helps the channel out. Um, Cabal has got this one. We got about 20 minutes left here as well, guys. Onana flicks it. Cambuala. Onana. Flick. Anthony complaining here. Gonna say a replay of this one. Anthony off the outside of the left, but who, who needs the right foot when you got the outside of your left? The weird goal, like Garnacho, it just heads it past Petrovic and Desassi sliding. Just couldn't keep it out either. Garnacho's on a hat trick. He'll fancy himself for the hat trick too. To be fair, Anthony's absolutely justified his selection. Caicedo going off. Can't say I'm surprised about that. He's been very poor out there for Chelsea today. Raheem Sterling on. Bit of a run it back of the City versus United. All he does, Sterling up against Aaron Wambasaka. United slowly trying to put a bit of press on here on Chelsea. Petrovic plays it out. I think it's Barry Shield. Mainu wins it. Nice foot in there by Kobe. Nice ball there by Harry Maguire. But it's, it's Casemiro trying to burst onto it. And it's just never going to come off. Anyway, guys, uh, 71 minutes gone. I know the timer says like 26 or 27, but that's going off second half time. Um, ball goes in over the top. Dalo tries to flick it on. Maguire's just going to clear it. Garnacho, can he take it down? Yes. Mainu goes in for it. Doesn't get it. Casemiro slides in. Throw in the Chelsea. Malo Gusto to check. Gusto's got a couple of options up there. I think one is Carney. It's going to be another throw in the Chelsea. Ball is cleared. I think the referee's pulled it back for something. Bruno's not happy either way. Harry Maguire's got it. Well given against Harry Maguire. Gonna be a free kick to Chelsea in the edge of the box. Right down by the byline. Got to watch out for this. Got to clear this ball out however we can. Palmer and Conor Gallagher over this one. Conor Gallagher not looking too happy. Now there's Palmer. I think I worked it out. I got, and we got to clear this ball to start with. A lot of runners at the back post. Chelsea, a lot of men out in there. You'd imagine they're going to make runs across the goal here. Yeah, they're going for it. Onana there. Punches it over the bar. Going to be a corner kick. Corner kick to Chelsea. Cole Palmer to tick.
Ball in to Sassy, and it's over the bar. Anyway, guys, um, about 15, 16 minutes left, plus added time. A um, couple of changes coming on for Chelsea here. Uh, Scott McTominay looks to be coming on for United. Hopefully it's not for Colby Manu. I think he's been very good out there. Casemiro going off. I think he's been very poor today, Casemiro. Come back or not, like, you know, I, I'm not going to get myself into thinking he's played well today. He's looked very poor out there, very slow and sluggish. Uh, so McTominay coming on. Some subs coming on for Chelsea as well. He looks like Trevor Chalaba. And Alfie Gilchrist as well. Not too familiar with him. McTominay on for United. Very familiar with Scott McTominay. Sassy not looking happy. I actually think sassy has been pretty good today, to be fair. And he was a guy like I wasn't too convinced about in the summer when there was talk about us being interested in him for Monaco, but he's looked solid today for Chelsea. But Chalaba on. On the centre half and it's going up against Marcus Rashford. Rashford not really been in the game since coming on, but we haven't really had a lot of possession since then, to be fair. Harry Maguire taking goal kicks. Uh, Onana. Cambuela. Chelsea pressing us for really half the pitch here. McTominay flicks it around the corner looking for Anthony. He's going to wait for a throw in. Here we got Juan Bissaka. Tomina, Kobe Manu, flex it in over the top. No one's there. Paddy Shields is going to be able to have all the time in the world to deal with that there one. And he finds tre uh, Trevor Chalaba. And Chalaba's got some, some options ahead of him anyway. Chat Sports said 3 2, anyone? Yeah, that's. I mean, that's what we. That's what I predicted. I think that's what you predicted as well. I would absolutely check this now. There's still a lot of work to do. Well, Palmer's going up here. That's a lovely reverse pass there, but Harry Maguire alert to it, plays it in behind. Twenty six likes as well. Big ups. Cole Palmer has it again. Cole Palmer's got Enzo. Enzo's got. I think it's Raheem Sterling. Um, a couple of options ahead of him. And he's gone backwards to Gallagher. Cucurella is going to go into the box here. Wambasaka has got a foot on it. Couldn't stop the ball. Comes out again, Cucurella. Tomlin might nip in here. Has done. Bruno's got Garnacho ahead of him. L poor pass by Bruno. Chalaba read it. Dalo goes in for it. Can't get it. Carney's got it. He's going to have a shot, as you know. Connor Gallagher's going to have a go here. Bobby Minu gets a block in, recovers. He's fighting with, with him. Con Connor Gallagher just held on to him and just dragged him along. Jackson, big block in there by Camboala. Uh, Chatsport, are we seeing uh, the right foot? Wind? No, but Chatsport, not with Sean, sorry. I've missed the comment there. Disappeared. Paul Palmer to take this. Free header there, but it's over the bar. From Gilchrist. Onana's got a goal kick to check. And he has Maguire on the left. He'll have Kambuala on the right. He's just got a... He's just got a... <laughs> Give it to Maguire to take. This ball is going Maguire to Onana. Onana up the pitch. <laughs> so obvious. Uh, there we go. He's gone out to Garnacho in the left back position, actually. Garnacho slipped. Bad touch by him. Connor Gallagher's got it. That was sloppy by United. Sloppy play there. Cole Palmer can get a shot off. Goes for it. Manu with the block. Chatsport team. Uh, Garnacho pushing Rashford out, becoming vital to the team. Don't know. Chelsea got a free kick in a good area here because I know that um, some of Garnacho's best performances have come on the right hand side. Matomna is not happy about a, a tackle in there. Let me see a replay on that. Matomna won the ball. 
Oh, it's a free kick. Free kick to Chelsea here. Gallagher's going to take this free. Burnham's trying to hold the line here. We've got about 10 minutes left, guys. I'm not, not a big fan of Paddy Shale up against Kobe Miner in the air. United's line's been broke there, and Rashford's just kicked it behind. It's going to be a goal. Sorry, it's going to be a corner kick. It's going to be a corner. Getting close to crunch time. Can't afford to, to concede a goal at all here. If we can get a fourth, it could be game over, but a lot of work to do between now and full time. Sterling's got this one. He's going to clip it in. Onana comes for it, collects it very easily. That's, that's what you want if you're the goalkeeper in this situation. Nice. Slow ball coming in there. Wamasaka with an interesting touch. McTominay recovers. He's got Kambala behind him. Kambala's just happy to punt it up the pitch. Granacho <laughs> tries to come pick with Badia Shiel in the air. Don't think that's going to work. Sterling's in behind. Kambala, can he cover? Can he get a block in? Not quite. Ball goes away across. Going to drop the Palmer in the far side to recover. Palmer. Got Gilchrist behind him. Gilchrist has played in Chalaba. Chelsea are very much camped in our half now. Can we hit them on the break? Can we get another attempt? Hopefully. Kukureya. Raheem Sterling. Gallagher. Wambasaka with the foot in there. Nice tackle there by Wambasaka. Guys, big ups and the likes. Big ups for 250 views as well. Much appreciated. Uh, Cole Palmer's got this one. Bruno has won that. And Garnaccio could get in behind here. Casper said mount on. Not yet, but he's not. I don't know if he's warming up or anything. I don't know who's warming up for us. I think they're just like out of eye line. I can see some Chelsea subs, but I can't see United subs. Conor Gallagher's headed that one out under no pressure. Going to be a throw in to United. Dallow to take. Dallow looks up. He looked for Rashford, but it's cut out there with Gilchrist. Um, Kambuala doesn't win there. Wambasaka's got a big tackle to make and does. Dallow plays it back to Onanuk. Important tackle there by Wambasaka. Onana's clearance wasn't the best, but it's going to drop the Kobe after Bruno and touch there. A free kick, surely, on Conor Gallagher. He just pushed him. Like, he's literally just pushed Kobe Minu. See Sophie and Amrabak warming up. Dalu has a free kick to take. Maguire's going to take it instead now. I feel like we're just running the clock down a bit, guys. Maguire goes out wide to Garnacho. Garnacho. Oh, what's happened to our likes as well? YouTube looks they've deleted like t 10 likes as well. I don't know why it always does this when I hit like the 2 hour mark. I really don't know why it does it. Mine's coming on. Rashford tries to put a little bit of a press there. Enzo Fernandez dropping very deep. Gilchrist. Rashford putting this press on, not really doing much here.
Enzo's got it. Tasport said 21 likes. Yeah. We had like 27 or 28 at one point. I don't know where they all went. YouTube just delayed likes all the time. Mount is coming on. I would imagine it's probably for Bruno. Could be for Garnacho, maybe. Will Palmer to put the ball into the box. Just got a lot of free men in around the penalty spot. We need to defend this. Anthony goes on the outside of Cucurella, but he's falling and has been fouled. Mount's getting a lot of booze. I think it's Garnacho coming off. Garnacho looks disappointed. He wanted a hat trick. <laughs> Anyway, guys, Mount's on. Can United find a fourth goal? Can we hold on to the 3-2 lead? Let's find out. We would imagine Mount's probably going to play off the left. We've got a free kick anyway. Onana's going to take it. Get us up the pitch. Bruno squeeze. Doesn't win. Mount comes across to try to deal with Gilchrist. Can't quite get it. Back to Chalaba. Chelsea probably going to play, play by three. Chasper said Bruno and Mount on at the same time. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, Mount's on the left wing, to be fair. Uh, Sterling's got this one. Chalaba. Rashford tries to squeeze Enzo Fernandez. Not really pressuring but just kind of cutting the lanes off but he's found Sterling Mount goes in with a tackle you can actually get a bit of a run here Mount that's a block to Dallow just keeps it simple Dallow to Manu Manu to Maguire to Hobby Hobby Manu don't know what he's doing there but McTominay recovers it's a risky pass or a lack of experience maybe from Cobby Manu Bruno's managed to find Anthony Anthony's got Rashford up with him, but I feel like he's going to go and have a shot here, Anthony. It just doesn't do anything and loses the ball. Conor Gallagher's got it. But time is space, but he's just going to play the ball backwards. Gilchrist. Chelsea going to build up again through the back. Anyway, guys, we're going to lose the full time here. Any shots from man of the match? Is it going to be Garnacho? Is it going to be Anthony? mine has been pretty good despite that bad pass he just played but Maguire solid Sterling Harry Maguire deals with that Bruno's got it I'll play back to Maguire he's gonna be happy to put it up the pitch Marcus Rashford nowhere near that though walking football at the top end Cole Palmer's got it Sterling got to deal with it Still in the box. Bruno's got it. Bruno's just played as far as Gilchrist. It, we're sitting back. Fernandez. The Senzu Fernandez, of course, driving forward. Tasport said Garnacho Gold, man of the match for me. Yeah, fair enough. It's a good shot. I think Anthony's been very good as well. But yeah, I can totally get Garnacho as well. An opportunity there for Chelsea. Two minutes left in the clock, plus added time. Sub coming on. Noni Madueke is coming on, and Gallagher coming off. Madueke to take. Well, he's coming on. I don't think he's taking the corner. Is it? No, it's going to be Sterling or Fernandez, maybe. Just got to defend these set pieces, guys. Really, really do. Chelsea going to go f to Cucurella. Going to drop to Palmer. Got Enzo. 
Enzo versus Bruno. I think he's offside. Jasper said no Fergie time. <laughs> exactly, buddy. The poor offside there. Rashford. Eight minutes of out of time. There might be Fergie time here, Chasport. Dallow to Rashford. Rashford, Dallow. Out wide. Rashford spins. Mount slides. Bruno chips. And Chelsea get the ball back after an interesting little period of play. Um, Enzo Fernandez has got it. Chicarello has got a lot of space down there on the left hand side. Wan Bissaka and Anthony back. McTominay needs to deal with this. Enzo Fernandez has got it now. Enzo's going to play wide to Madueke. Madueke is just going to hit the byline here, surely. Goes to the shot. Easily held there by Onana. Going to added time. Long time to hold on. Could do with the fourth goal. <laughs> Onana. Up the pitch. Mount can't get it down. Can't even get a touch on it. It's going to be an easy throw in there to concede. Enzo Fernandez has got this one. Rashford. Not really putting the press on. United just happy to sit back, I think, like in a sit, sit back in a block here and just try to nick it if it can. Not really over committing to the press too much. Enzo tries to switch. Cucurella's got that one. Can ball it as well to come across. Gonna be a throw in. Ball has been pretty solid since he's come on, to be fair. Carney's got it this time, and he's got Cole Palmer. Cole Palmer, Jinx and Weaves, gets a pass away. Matomina gets it, Minu, Rashford, Minu, Bruno, Dallo, out to Mount. Flick, nice flick there by Mount, to be fair. Bruno's got Rashford on the outside, has to play it to him. Rashford goes for the ball back to Bruno. A little bit over hit and it's going to fall to Petrovic. Six minutes to go, guys. Sloppy ball there. Mounts cut it out. Dallow made the third man run there. Really nice. Deflect the ball finds him. Mount to Bruno. Mount's getting heavily booed. United just happy to hold onto the ball here for a little bit. And I'm glad to see it. McTominay with a touch. Dallow goes inside nicely. Bruno could have played to Rashford if he's seen him. McTominay loses out but wins it back. Mount. United's just happy to keep ball here. Bruno's gone down anyway, as has Dallow. Going to be a free kick. United happy to take it. He's happy to run the clock down. Ten Hag send to settle down. Garnacho gets uh, the, the TNT Sport Man of the Match anyway. Two goals. It's hard to argue. He also gets Chat Sport Man of the Match as well. Dallow to check this one. He's just going to roll up to Kobe Minu. He's going to hold on to it. Finds Mount. Mount scrapping for it. Still scrapping for it. Still got it. Bruno plays it out gonna be a throw in United's just happy to run the thing down I mean this is a bit of gamesmanship that sometimes we've really lacked this season Enzo getting in the face of Mount Mount not happy referee not happy about something Anthony didn't keep you up he's <laughs> and Pochettino looking very unhappy there as well
Dallo with the throw in goes towards the corner flag to Bruno. That's gonna be a goal kick. Gilchrist has got this one. Mount squeezes Palmer. Bruno squeezes as well. Gasport overall scattered game, but three points. Yeah, I mean, it, it's one of those, like, we shouldn't have found ourselves 2 0 down. Performance still hasn't been great. Um, there has been a lot of issues on the pitch, and we've conceded far too many shots and um, given far too much um, to Chelsea in an offensive term. Um, you know, the, the character's there, the spirit is there, and the team has goals in it. Um, it's just frustrating sometimes as well. It, it, it's been a bit of a crazy match. It, it, it has been. Um, let's just hope that it has a nice, relaxing end to it. Rashford's popping up in the right-back position. He's just got to clear his lines there and find, I think it's McTominay. He's got Bruno and Anthony ahead of him. Tomlin's just happy to run with this here. Just find Anthony and keep the ball, I think, is, is, is the aim of the game. Mbwala plays it. Dallow's got it. Maguire's got it. Out to Mount. United's just done a good job of killing this game off so far. And that's what you want in these positions as well. Manu's ball is going to go out there. Don't think Bruno was ever going to have the pace to keep up with that. And we are about two and a half minutes away from a big three points that I didn't think we would get a 2 0. Sir Jim Radcliffe watching on. Up there with Dave Brilsford and Peter Schmeichel. I think it's the first time we've seen Sir Jim at a United match, is it? Enzo Plaza, Madweka, two minutes ago, Dallo loses out, Madweka, I think he's given a penalty away. <sighs> he cannot ride it. What has he done? What? Well, well. Dallow had to check him down outside of the box. Had to check him down outside of the box. Maguire's insisting it's not a penalty. Referee took a second to give it. Will be looked at, of course, but... Yeah, it's looking like a penalty. And they're checking it, I mean... Let's have a say on it, because it looked like he slipped, Dallow, but... I think it's going to be given... I don't know how we had eight minutes out of time in the first place. I don't even know how we're in this position. But still nothing from the video assessment. There's obviously element of doubt here, but Chatsport says unbelievable. I don't know. I mean, there's a heated debate in the VAR room. I don't... Yeah, they've given it. Took a long time to get there. Chelsea have a chance to make a 3-3 after being absolutely shite in this second half. 
It's Palmer against Onana for the second time from the spot. I don't know. He needs to save this Onana. Nana needs to save this. And Palmer scores. It's 3-3. Three, three. It's undeserved from Chelsea. I don't know how those eight minutes out of time in the first place, but it's 3-3. Three, three. Sends Onana the wrong way. It's a good penalty, to be fair. It's 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, I feel your transport, buddy. Dallow running forward over Rashford. McTonnell loses it. Manu's going to go in for it. Chelsea like 5v1 here. Got to take him down. Sterling's got it. What a tackle there. I think it's Dalla with it. Mind with it. And it's over. From Jake and Wackett. The Fresh says it's bollocks. It is, man. It's fucking heartbreaking. Corner taking short. Palmer. Four three. It's four three. I think it's an own goal or something. How have we thrown this away? How have we done this? I don't even know. What do we even do? How do we find ourselves in this position? I don't get it. United went with one defender, didn't pick up Cole Palmer, unmarked in the box, and he just gets a shot off. I think it's hit. McTominay went in. This team, man, I swear... Only this team can do this. I swear, guys. Guys, like three minutes ago, we were just cruising, controlling the game at 3 2, and now we're 4 3 down. And it's over. I mean, there's seconded, and then there's then there's that. That's just gut wrenching. How we managed to bottle that, I do not know. What what are we doing, guys? What are we doing? It just hurts. What? What are we doing? What? What? What a fucking joke! I don't know, guys. I really don't know. Where does that leave us? Oh, guys, that's fucking heart-wrenching. Absolutely heart-wrenching.
So fresh that last five minutes shows how inexperienced and prepared the team is. I don't get it, man. Like, I spent six or seven minutes saying how we were killing the game off at 3 2 and that we're going to get away with a win here. And then they get a bullshit penalty. And yeah, I can see what's given. And then you go and do that. You, th- you leave Harry Maguire in a 1v5. And then you leave Cole Palmer unmarked in the penalty box. And he just makes a 4 3. I mean, it's got wrenching. Any kind of tactical plan, any kind of idea, and you you avoid that situation. It, it's I I don't even know how you process that. Like I really don't. This, this is what Liverpool fans felt at, at Old Trafford. It has to be like because this is just ridiculous. Like I mean, the highs and lows of being a football fan. I swear to God, guys, this is. I don't know. I don't know. I'm done with this game. I'm done with this game. I'll see everybody for the watch long on Sunday uh, for Liverpool. God knows how that's going to go. Um, guys, thanks so much for sticking with me. I, I don't even know where you begin to describe that tonight. I really don't. But thanks for watching anyway, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, and I'll catch everyone in the next one.